Russia's war against Ukraine has raged on now for a grim six months. Among those assisting with Ukrainian relief efforts in Eastern Europe is a northeastern Pennsylvania man who's on a mission to make an impact. 2822 Eyewitness News reporter Madonna Mantione joins us live at the Control Center with the details. Madonna. Mark, I first met the Luzerne County man last month as he was packing up to head overseas. Tonight, we caught up virtually under much different circumstances with his journey well underway. Dan, it's so great to see you. <laughs> yeah. Some far, far away lands. Dan Griffin joined me on a cell phone video call standing outside a travel plaza late there on a Saturday night in Krakow, Poland. Behind him, the white van he uses to transport Ukrainian refugees across the border who are fleeing their war torn country. It's tough to watch, uh, it's tough to see the suffering. And but what's really neat is the resolve of these people. They will not give up and they really don't even like to accept our help. We have to kind of jump right in, and then they'll see that, you know, we're determined to help them. It's been more than a month since I visited Griffin at his Swoyersville home before he embarked on this relief mission. The retired Kingston police officer brought plenty of power tools and supplies with him to rebuild previously targeted and bombed out areas. It really shocks you when you see it because of the, um, the structures, the infrastructure, it's churches, it's schools. Um, it's roads and bridges and things that have really not a military significance. It's, it's just sheer terrorism. Griffin and other volunteers with the Polish humanitarian group spend their weekdays in Ukraine and weekends in Poland. Due to rising tensions in recent weeks, Griffin says only he and established volunteers are currently allowed in and out of Ukraine. It's a lot more challenging than I thought it was going to be, but that's part of it. you got to roll with it. So it's, you know, living conditions sometimes aren't the best. Uh, you know, we don't have hot water a lot of the times until the weekend. So uh, it's tough. Griffin says despite the danger, it's worth it to help people in a part of the world he's never been. It's far from home. I miss my family, you know, miss Wyoming Valley. But uh, it's, it's bigger than me. It's bigger than us. And, you know, I'm part of it. I'm glad I'm here. Griffin vows to continue his repair and rescue efforts until his mission is complete before returning home. When I asked him how long that will take, he said he's unsure. He only asked me for one thing, pray for his safety. Mark. A lot of courage, certainly, in that mission. Madonna Mantillon from the Control Center, thanks.